Yevgeny Morozov, to save everything, click here, the folly of technological solutionism. Dive into the captivating world of, to save everything, click here, The Folly of Technological Solutionism, by Yevgeny Morozov, where the author scrutinizes the widely acclaimed idea that technology can resolve all societal issues. Revealing the potential pitfalls of relying too heavily on technology, this book summary delves into the consequences of total transparency, the potential dangers of direct democracy, the manipulation of search engine algorithms, and the impact of surveillance on civil disobedience. As you embark on this intriguing exploration of the role of technology in our lives, prepare for a thought-provoking discussion about the limits of what technology can truly achieve. The Promise and Perils of Technology The book explores the pervasive belief in technology as a solution to all our problems. It delves into the history of technology and how it has simplified our lives and expanded our possibilities. The author argues that while technology has been a boon for humanity, it is not a panacea for every ill. The book warns against the blind faith in technology and the neglect of its unintended consequences. Technology has been a defining characteristic of human progress, enabling us to overcome our limitations and achieve feats once deemed impossible. From the wheel to the computer, our ingenuity and innovation have transformed the world and shaped our destiny. However, this boundless faith in technology has also led us down the path of hubris and complacency, where we assume that every problem has a technological solution. The book challenges this simplistic view by examining the history and impact of technology on society. It acknowledges the tremendous benefits that technology has brought us, from improving our productivity to enhancing our entertainment. It shows how technology has transformed our economy, creating new industries and jobs while making some obsolete. It highlights how technology has empowered us by giving us access to information, education, and communication on a global scale. However, the book also sounds a cautionary note, warning us of the dark side of technology that we often overlook. It reminds us of the environmental and social costs of our technological progress, such as pollution, resource depletion, and inequality. It points out how technology can be addictive, isolating, and even dangerous if used irresponsibly. It challenges us to think critically about the trade-offs of technology and to balance its benefits with its risks. Ultimately, the book argues that technology is neither good nor bad, but a tool that reflects our values and intentions. It urges us to use technology wisely and ethically, to harness its potential for the common good, while being mindful of its unintended consequences. The book invites us to a deeper reflection on the role of technology in our lives and our society, and to a more balanced and nuanced view of its promises and perils. Achieving Transparency in Politics Every election cycle, there are demands for greater transparency in politics. Solutionists believe the internet can force politics to be transparent by archiving politicians' promises that everyone has access to. However, achieving total transparency is difficult. Politicians may choose to return to the clandestine world of private conferences to avoid public scrutiny. They can also overwhelm their constituents with low-quality information through a tactic called snowing, which makes it impossible to discern what is happening from an outsider's perspective. The book explores the challenges of achieving transparency in politics and how politicians can find ways to evade public scrutiny. The ultimate goal is to refocus politics on the greater good rather than the good of those in office. The Pitfalls of Direct Democracy The Internet has given rise to the idea of direct democracy, but governments know this isn't always a good thing. Indirect democracy allows citizens to vote for the party that best represents their political leanings, without needing expert knowledge on political issues. Attempts at direct democracy, such as the European Pirate Party, have proven to be counterproductive as they lead to a focus on less critical issues and a loss of popularity. Ultimately, indirect democracy is a more efficient and effective system. The False Neutrality of Search Engines Search engines like Google and personalized ads from social media platforms have changed the way we discover new websites. 
The algorithms used to suggest queries can influence trends, and Google's insistence on neutrality is questionable. Companies and individuals can influence page ranks and manipulate content. The censorship used by companies like Google or Facebook is restricted to illegal hits, but the impact of modern technology on humanity is worth considering. Predictive Policing and the Future of Law Enforcement New technologies are making it possible to prevent crimes before they occur. Predictive policing through surveillance and algorithms is becoming increasingly popular, making it easier for technology to assess situations that often lead to gun violence, as well as identifying when users may be about to commit a crime. While these advancements may lead to increased safety and decreased crime rates, they also raise concerns about civil liberties and the possibility of eliminating civil disobedience. The Rise and Risks of Self-Tracking Social media platforms, shrinking sensors, smartphones, and cloud computing have contributed to the popularity in normalization of self-tracking. However, this obsession with tracking every aspect of our lives can lead to the degradation of our natural decision-making abilities and a misinterpretation of the data gathered. Self-tracking generates machine-friendly data that can be used to optimize our habits, but blindly trusting this information has its risks. As the world becomes more transparent, privacy becomes the exception, and self-tracking becomes more sophisticated, it is crucial not to lose our sense of agency and critical thinking. Gamification for real-life rewards Discover how gamification turns everyday tasks into games that reward and motivate people to act, as well as the potential downsides of this approach. Have you ever wished everything in your life could be monitored by a computer that would tell you exactly what to do next to achieve your long-term goals? What if this computer could also reward you for accomplishing those tasks? This may sound like science fiction, but it's possible thanks to gamification, the application of game design principles to real-world situations. By adding virtual rewards like points or badges to real-life activities, people can feel motivated and incentivized to complete tasks they may have previously avoided, such as exercise. Gamification is becoming increasingly popular, with many companies planning to include it in their marketing efforts. However, gamification also has downsides. Extrinsic motivation, which involves earning external rewards, can be less effective than intrinsic motivation, where people feel compelled to act because it's the right thing to do. In fact, studies have shown that offering external rewards for certain behaviors, like blood donations or parent pickups, can actually decrease the likelihood of those desired actions. While gamification holds promise for motivating people to complete tasks, it's important to consider the potential downsides and limitations. While technology can help us exercise more, it may not be as effective in motivating us to do the right thing. In conclusion, to save everything, click here highlights the fallacy of assuming that technology has a solution for every problem. While technology has undoubtedly had a positive impact in many areas, the author contends that it cannot provide all the answers to today's most pressing issues. Instead, we need to recognize the ongoing need for human engagement, wisdom, and judgment to address complex problems. The book brings to light the risks of total transparency, the deception of direct democracy, the susceptibility of search engines to manipulation, and the potential erosion of civil disobedience through the proliferation of surveillance technologies, urging us to consider the limitations of the digital age and the importance of our own decision-making abilities.